Hello YouTube, this is the Last Guy 17. And the Crypto Nova. And today we are back again to review the Man of Steel. Go. And now we will be giving the summary of Man of Steel. Okay. In the pantheon of superheroes, Superman is the most recognized and revered character of all time. Clark Kent is a young 20-something journalist who feels alienated by powers beyond anyone's imagination. Transported to Earth years ago from Krypton, an advanced alien planet, Clark struggles with the ultimate question, why am I here? Shaped by the values of his adopted parents, Clark soon discovers that having super abilities means making very difficult decisions, but when the world needs stability the most, it comes under attack. Will his abilities be used to maintain peace, or will they be used to divide and conquer? Clark must become the hero known as Superman, not only to shine as the world's last beacon of hope, but to protect the ones he loves. Now, we are going to be giving our opinions of the movie. Okay, so my opinion of this movie, um, I really liked it because I'm a huge fan of superhero movies. Um, I love it all. I love Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, anything. Iron Man, name it. I love it. I love this movie. Um, and I, because the past Superman movies haven't been the best, but like this one I really thought did justice for Superman movies. And this one was really good, I thought. The acting was good. Just everything was good. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, I also really enjoyed it. Um, the beginning, in some parts, like, it was kind of a bit slow, but, like... Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah but, like, what when it was slow, it was more, like, inter Like, it kind of, like... It was kind of, like, interesting. And, like, I... And th they were still, like, good scenes. And then, after that, it just became, like, non-stop action, which I really liked. But... Overall, it was just a really good movie, and I think that they did a really good job. Me too. And now, we are going to be talking about the acting. Overall, I think the acting in this movie was pretty good. Um, it wasn't, like, spectacular over the top, but it was good acting. Um, I really liked Diane Lane, who played Martha Kent, uh... But that's not my MVP this week. My MVP this week is going to, it's kind of obvious, um, it's going to have to go to Henry Cavill. i sorry if I pronounced his last name wrong, but he played Clark Kent. So that's our MVP for the week, folks. Henry Cavill. Yeah, I also thought the acting was good. Uh, it, it, was, it was pretty good. They, I think that um, maybe like they could have added a little more emotion into it, like, in the later scenes, they did, but, like, in the earlier scenes, if there was a bit more, then uh, I think that would have been, like, a, it would have been a lot better. But, overall, I think that the acting was, uh, it, it was, it was good. And yeah, I, really I, give it a, I give it a thumbs up for the acting. Yeah. Me too. Now we'll be giving our opinions on the soundtrack. Yeah, uh, I thought that the soundtrack for this movie was pretty good. It was, I actually really liked it. Uh, there, there wasn't that much of it, but, like, except in, like, the, like, big battle scenes and stuff, but I, like, when you did hear the music, I really liked it, and it, it really fit the movie, like, perfectly, and it was just overall, like, really good. Yeah, I, I really loved the soundtrack. I thought it was it suited every scene perfectly for what they chose for the music for that scene. I thought it all fit perfectly. Um, I really love the music when Superman, like he put, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, the scene where he puts his fist in the, in the uh, snow and then he flies. I really love the music there in that scene. Um, I just, <clears throat> overall, I love the music and I thought it suited the movie perfectly. So thumbs up for that one. Now we will be discussing the animation and visual effects. Yeah, this movie, it had, like, it's a Superman movie, so it's obviously going to have a lot of animation in it. But, um, yeah, the animation, it was, like, really good. I really liked it. I can't really say there was a scene 
or I didn't like the animation. Like, it was just all, like, really well done. <coughs> there was there was nothing that, like, made it, like, bad or anything. Uh, like, it was just really good animation, and you don't see that in many movies. Yeah, I must say, the animation was very, very, very good. Because um, there was a lot of fight scenes where... Oh, especially near the end, like the final scene, like when they just destroyed the city, it was just done perfectly. Like I, I, I just love the animation, everything they did with this. Like they have to do that with super with superhero movies, but like it went over the top this time, and it was just brilliant. I loved it. Now we are going to be giving our ratings. Okay, so. This was a really good movie. Um, I loved it, and Lost Guy 17 is going to give Man of Steel a 8. Yeah, I agree. It was a great movie. They did a really good job, and I'm going to go a little bit higher and give it an 8.5. Okay, folks, so now I guess um, in between that will be 8.3, so KNLG Movie Reviews is getting Man of Steel an 8.3 review. Okay, uh, well, thank you review for watching our review, and today we would like to, uh, thank you all for your support and, like, watching, because over, like, the four or five reviews we've done so far, we have, like, gotten well over a thousand views and quite a few likes, so we just like to say thank you. Yeah, we couldn't do it without you guys. Without you guys, there are no reviews to be made. So, yeah, we would like to say thank you guys and to keep watching because it's only going to get better. And we will be making our collab channel very soon. So, Okay, well, thank you for watching, and we'll see you t next week.